In July, Manga Gamer released a physical edition of Evanicle. Evanicle is an RPG slash VN hybrid about a horny guy who becomes a knight because the law does not allow people other than knights to get together with more than one woman, and he wants to marry two twin sisters that raised him, as well as of course pick up a harem of other girls on his adventure. The Witch Love Diary Released by Sekai Project follows a character named Alice, who visits a clock tower known for granting wishes with her friends. In this clock tower, a magical diary falls down. This diary belongs to the main male character, Takumi, and seems to have events that no one remembers. It seems like a fairly nice premise and the art is good and it has a decent score on Visual Novel Database, so it seems somewhat interesting. Cherry Kiss Games released Hot Steamy Nights, so this time it's Night Fetish. Data Live Rio Reincarnation was released on PC and PS4 with English text. The PS4 version is censored having two CGs modified, while well, to my understanding the PC version, aka the Steam version, is uncensored. The VN does not include 18 plus scene and it is tied to the light novel slash anime series Data Live. It includes three titles, one which takes place after the first season of the anime and two that takes place after the second season of the anime. It is quite interesting seeing a VN based on an already existing otaku medium be released in English as this is quite rare. Though considering how many Compile Hard things have been translated, I don't think it seems uh, all that uh, surprising. I've personally read the Japanese PS4 version and think they did a really good job with it in general, though I don't know how good the port is. From what I've seen on Steam reviews, it seems like a lot of people are complaining about the port in general. The Japanese PS4 release also had uh, some problems, like for instance some art assets not aligning properly, with parts of CGs being placed wrong by a pixel or two. Love Cube by NECA Works is a title I look somewhat forward to reading. I read through parts of the trial and liked what I read, though the visual novel database score isn't really all that great. At least it's nice seeing Neckle Works actually put some effort into their releases as uh, their later releases like Tropical Liquid and Monomusa has been rather disappointing in my opinion. In August, Sekai Project released the second episode of 9-9. As I've already mentioned episode 1, I won't go further into it, but it seems well received by those who read it. Sayana Uta got a Steam release as well as an upscale which is really nice for everyone who wants to be disturbed in HD. Also, it's great to know that Steam accepts 18 plus lolly content, rape and cannibalism, as long as it doesn't use any language like Esperanto. Frontwing released Local Love, My Commuting Crush, which hopefully is a nice guide for everyone whose crush happens to take the same train or bus as them. Gotta love Japan's obsession with trains and hage scenes on trains. Cat Girl and Dog Girl Cafe from Cherokee's Games is an isekai where the main character gets to have a cafe and screw his employee, which happens to be a cat girl and a dog girl. In September, Manga Gamer released the most popular ranch title, Sengoku Ranch. The Ron series is well known for being an RPG slash VN hybrid with a rapist protagonist on his quest to screw all the beautiful women out there and maybe save the world or something while he's at it. Manga Gamer also released Farther Than the Blue Sky, which to my understanding is filled with rocket science and sex metaphors. If you want to learn rocket science either to flex on the people around you by showing off your intelligence or you just really like rockets, you should probably pick it up. It even comes with cute anime girls and sex scenes. This was quite the busy month for Manga Gamer, as they actually released three decently large titles, the last one being Hashihime of the Old Book Town, 
This is a highly rated Yaoi VM, uh, so it's nice to see the Fujoshi are getting some content, as to my knowledge, there isn't really that much content for them in English yet. The title has a really high rating, so it's most likely really good. As for the plot, there seems to be something about the main character's friends mysteriously dying, and him reliving the same three days over and over again. Nanairo Reincarnation, released by Sega Project, is about a guy with clairvoyance, an ability that runs in his family, which uses his powers to solve supernatural crimes uh, with demon familiars. It seems fairly well rated and the art looks nice, but otherwise I don't really know much about it. Nekonyan Soft, despite generally being really against Kickstarters in the first post they made when they revealed their company, resorted to using a Kickstarter for Aokano. Aokano is quite a large title for them, as it's a really popular title that has a high rating and also has an anime, which means it can bring in non-VN fans. Onikis, released by Solpres, is a blood-related sister VN with four different little sisters that are all somewhat lolly looking It seems like a fairly straightforward Emoto Nukige, and it also has a route involving their mother, which happens to be a lolly. It has quite a good score on Visual Novel Database, though I would imagine it is somewhat of a specific title that requires specific tastes, and it's not for everyone. Cherry Kiss Games released Mother Daughter Pleasure Pets, and yeah, the title says it all, so I don't think I really need to comment any more on it. In October, Manga Gamer released the first part of Kikonia. When They Cry, which is by 7th Expansion, the same people who made Higurashi and Umineko. Kakonia is set a hundred year after World War III, which nearly destroyed humanity, and is set in a world where the planet reaches tens of billions of people in population. A new military technology called Gauntlet Knights is developed and is unrivaled in power. The power is given to the younger people, however the ones who are actually in control is the older generation which uses them like pieces on a board. The description is rather interesting and it has fairly good score, though it hasn't come near to Umineko or Higurashi when it comes to popularity and rating. Manga Gamer also released Amaterasu Riddle Star which based on its description and quickly looking over some reviews seems to be inspired by Alice in Wonderland. The artwork is quite good, however the rating is rather low. Maggot Bates, released by Manga Gamer, is to my understanding the most messed up VN to have been officially released in English, and potentially the most messed up thing to have been officially released in English in general. From what I understand, it is a revenge story that takes place in a lawless city, and it also has immortal supernatural women. From what I've heard, the story is quite good, which uh, from having read Euphoria by the same developers, uh, I don't really doubt that much. However, this is definitely not for the faint of heart. Having looked at some of the images from the VN, I would say most people would probably be pretty disgusted by it, uh, and there was also a meme going on about the translator having a bucket with him when translating, in case he would puke during some of the scenes. Uh, though it seemed like he didn't end up puking in the end, so good for him I guess. Nekonin EX Heart 3, released from Sekai Project. Some more ninja cat girls for those interested in it. Cherokis Games released Magical Milfs which focuses on sex with previous magical girls who are now MILFs. So if you have a magical girl fetish, but would rather the magical girl be much older, I guess this covers your fetish. You know, a girl who shan't love at the bound of this world got a release of its remake. The VN is about a young student who receives a peculiar package from his missing father and a letter with information on a parallel world. The main character does not take it seriously at first, but then realizes he is in the possession of a device that allows him to travel to alternate dimensions. 
The VN is quite popular and rather old, with its initial release being in 1996, but with a remake in 2017, which is what got translated. I don't know the difference in quality between the original and the remake, however, the discussions on Visual Novel Database seems to indicate that people generally favour the original release over the remake. In November, Manga Game released Funbike Fantasy 2, which is an unrelated prequel set in the same universe but 400 years before the events of Funbike Fantasy. From my understanding, it's quite similar to the original Funbike Fantasy. Manga Gamer also released A Kiss for the Pedals, Maidens of Michael. Uh, if cute lesbian couples having sex in a school for rich girls sounds good to you and you want physical copies, well lucky you, because it seemed really unlikely to get a physical release considering how long it was since the uh, original digital release. Soul Press released My Fair Princess, which has a poor guy getting into school for rich people due to a scholarship. So yeah, a poor guy getting together with rich girls, it seems. Uh, the title has rather low ratings though. Cherokee's Games released Nympho Monster, which is just an isekai nukige with monster girls. Princess and the Stray Cat 2. Yay, more censorship. Lamination, released by Love Lab, is a meme-filled VM that is fairly well received. Looking at its description, it seems like something that would be quite funny, uh, though it's rather hard to break down what it's actually about, if it actually is about anything at all. After roughly 100 years of delay, Manga Gamer has decided to finally release Bokuten, Why I Became an Angel to give some people depression. Sekai Project released Baldur's Sky, a very long, very highly regarded VN that seems to have some gameplay as well. It seems to involve a fair bit of mechas. As for the release itself, it is censored, which to my understanding is something Giga, the developers, required for them to agree with the localization. However, pretty much right after the release, a fan patch was released as well, adding all the missing content. Considering how close this was to the release, it is quite clear that it must have been done by someone who was working on the official release. Venus Blood Frontier was released through Just USA. This is an RPG slash VN hybrid that has two different ways of playing it to my knowledge. One where you corrupt the heroines, and one where you don't. It seems to have a fair amount of tentacles, so that's good for everyone into tentacle porn. And it is generally a rather dark and messed up VN, uh, to my knowledge at least. Cherokee's Game released Bullied Bride, a nukage where the main character helps a bullied girl, and to repay him, she becomes his sex slave. Oral Lesson with Chi-chan released by Faku features a non-virgin, slutty, Gyaru heroin, and is of course a nukage. So this seems to be in line with what you'd generally expect Faku to release. Well that has been it for my roundup of visual novels released in 2019. Please tell me any titles I missed and how horrible I am for not having mentioned them. Also yes, I ignored original western VNs, so I'm expecting that if more than 10 people watch this video, um, I'm going to be called out on not having things like Connell Sanders mentioned.